and get boards. Um, and I have, I feel like I've embraced that. Um, and my other, my posts have been a gr- done a great job rebounding too. So sometimes I just get the easy cleanup rebounds cause they'll box the big girl out for me. So, um, it's really just all about pursuing the ball and having great post defenders that will get the big girls out the way. How much of that is just attitude and willingness to, to go in there and mix it up? Um, I mean, I think most of it is just a mindset, but that's everything in the game. So if I decide I'm going to rebound tonight, um, I'm going to get some rebounds. And that's just what I've been trying to do all season. You also took, uh, I think, uh, 12 three-point shots. Was this just a night when you were on or did the game just flow that way? Um, I think uh, we had scouted them and we knew that they, if we moved the ball around and got paint touches, that they were going to leave shooters open. So I was just looking for that shot, got my feet set. Um, my point guards and my posts did a wonderful job of seeing the, seeing me open in the corner, um, and it just worked out yeah. going in the basket. Watching the last couple of seconds of the game, it looked like you were bouncing the ball off your head. As a Maybe I missed that or missed, mistook that. Is that... Is that uh, possible bouncing the ball off my head yeah like in the last three or four seconds the, the way it looked i don't i don't know maybe i maybe i missed it uh, <laughs> i don't remember that but it was it was an exciting moment for us to get our first one as number one so i might have done it i don't exactly recall doing that but <laughs> you never know i'm gonna have to go watch the replay yeah <laughs> Haley Hayes, Jody Dumbling with Cardinal Authority. I'm, I'm assuming you do remember the last <laughs> three from that corner. Uh, what The three from the corner right in front of the bench. Talk about the emotion when you hit that and kind of pounding your chest a little bit going down and, and you and Dana celebrating. Um, yeah, I just think that me and Dee are at the point in the season where we have great chemistry um, and we can really get energy going for our team. So she was doing a great job of making the right reads um, and she found me when I was open and she hit a couple really tough shots at the end of the game to still give us a lead. And we were still hyping each other up, going back on defense. Um, it's just a vibe. Uh, when we're hitting shots, uh, everyone on our team does a great job of uh, hyping each other up. So that's just what how we want to play because we know it's fun to watch. Hey, Haley Cameron from the Courier Journal. You, you, and, you and Olivia really got things going early in the first quarter. I mean, you guys have been off to a great start in your freshman year. Just how much do you guys feed off each other um, when things are going well for one another? Yeah, I think having a post presence like Olivia and our guard play, it's a really tough matchup. So um, Olivia does a great job of if people are double tripping team or in the post, she's going to find the guards on the outside to knock down shots. But if they're going to go one on one, Olivia can get a bucket on anybody. So um, we're just playing really well, making the right reads, and um, Olivia's doing a great job. And, and kind of a follow-up to that, what changed for you all, you feel like, in that second half going against Syracuse's length and size? It seemed like they had you bottled up a little bit in that first half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just think that we relaxed. Um, you know, coming into a big game like this, especially with me and O um, being freshmen that start and play a decent amount of minutes, I think that maybe we had some extra adrenaline going. Um, But we just really calmed down and um, found the open girl in the press and just made easy shots. So that was the difference. When when at what point in the game do you feel like you calmed down? Um, I think after uh, we had a great end to the second half for us um, and we just got to go in the locker room and talk, talk it out. What we saw, what we were feeling, what we were going to do coming in the second half. Um, and it was just a good time for us to reflect and uh, have a game plan for the second half. Anything else? Yeah, uh, Dana was talking about how, how I guess she's lost like five contact lenses from contact this year. What uh, what has your experience been? You gotten any facial bruises or, uh, or uh, I don't know if you wear contacts, but. I do wear contacts. None of mine have fallen out yet, but 
Yeah. Um, I've taken my fair share of falls to the ground. The team actually makes fun of me because they say I dent the floor when I fall because I fall hard. Um, <laughs> I got I got bruises on my elbows, on my knees, on my back somehow. Um, but it's how I like to play. Um, it what's keep me in a flow. And Dana, as much as she acts like she doesn't like getting her contact knocked out, I think it gives her a little bit of swag. So um, we're just gonna keep playing how we play. Is that the way you've always played? I mean, do you have like Yes, it's, I used to have to wear knee pads, but um, we're just going to tough it out this year. I'm a little bit superstitious, so no knee pads. We're going to keep rolling without them. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Thanks, you, Haley. Thank you. Congrats on the win. Thank you.